I'm reviewing and unboxing three different 300 watt LED grow lights in this video. The most expensive is a Mars Hydro TSL 2000 LED 300 watt grow light, as well as a $30 300 watt LED grow light I found on Amazon and a $100 LED grow light I bought a couple years ago. After unboxing, I'll compare their luminosity using a luminosity app on my iPhone. Are expensive LED grow lights worth the money? Stay tuned and find out. I love how some of the Mars Hydro advertising says discreet. I'm growing tomatoes. Why do I care if it's discreet? Oh, right. The other growers. Don't look at me like that, Bob. Simple Tech. That's the name of this channel. And we have piles of other videos on growing and greenhouse technology you can check out after watching this video just by hitting that free subscribe button. You can buy high-end LED grow lights and low-end LED grow lights. The Mars 2000 300 watt grow light is on the high end, costing about 260 bucks US or about 400 Canadian for one single 300 watt light. Now you can get 300 watt grow lights on Amazon or eBay for about $30. Why spend upwards of 10 times as much for a Mars Hydro 2000 LED grow light? Now I agree the Mars light is better, but the real question is, is it 10 times better than a cheap LED grow light? Or is it three times better than a mid-range $100 300 watt LED grow light? The equating factor here is that they're all rated at 300 watts from the manufacturer. After unboxing, I'm going to do some light meter comparisons to see the difference in light between the LED units and tell you which grow light is the best deal overall. Stay tuned. Here we go.
What's this? What's this? So we open it up. It's a power cord. Okay. Bye. Luminosity is the measure of light intensity, which I can measure with an app on my iPhone. Light intensity, with some exceptions for spectrum, measured by a light meter, determines how fast your plants will grow. Let's compare the light intensity of the three LED grow lights we've reviewed here, starting with the cheap $30 light. The app shows a level of 577 lumens. To put this in perspective, a 15 watt LED light I use in my house is about the same amount of light. Not impressive at all for a light rated at 300 watts. Next is the $100 LED light I've had for a few years. It comes in at about 6,500 looms. Not bad. More than 10 times the amount of light as the cheap light and double the surface area so it'll illuminate more plant area. Finally, there's the Mars Hydro LED light, also 300 watts. It came in at a whopping 59,000 or about 10 times better than the $100 light. And it's got at least three to four times the surface area as well. To put this in comparison, shining the light meter directly at the sun here, and it's about the solar equinox for time reference, registers only about 39,000 looms. That means the Mars Hydro light is almost double the brightness of looking directly at the sun. I think the results make it clear the actual value of the Mars Hydro light and how advertising can be deceiving. Trying to use the other two lights once you see the performance of a real grow light is just wasting time and money. I'm going to do some growing experiments with these three lights in the near future and post videos of that. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to follow the results when I post them. You'll find tons of other videos on greenhouses and growing on this channel too if you look through Simple Text Video Library on YouTube.